Guys, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about clipping in Lightroom. Um, I know you've seen it before. If you use Lightroom at all, you've seen those red areas or the blue areas that are on your images. Maybe at first when you saw them, you thought, oh my gosh, what on earth is that? Something is screwed up with my camera sensor and my images are ruined. But the truth of the matter is, it is Lightroom's way of showing you that there is no detail in that part of the image. So we're gonna talk about clipping, kind of go over uh, what it's for, how it helps us, and then how to remove that overlay or add it if you want it. So I'm glad you're here, let's get started. So the first thing, if you look at this image, you'll notice that red background um, um, in the image. That is showing me that those areas of the image have what is called blowout, or there is no information in that part of the image. If I hit the J key, the J key turns clipping on and off. If I hit the J key, you'll see that go away, and you'll see that those areas are just pure white. And so if I bring those back, um, you can see how it is basically overlaying or telling me where um, I have no detail in the image. So let me quickly edit this image how I would edit it. Um, I would first off, I would use my fresh air presets. So I would hit start to get the image close. I would turn lens correction on. If you look at that, it just kind of fix a little bit of the distortion. And then on the edges of the image, it gets rid of that vignetting that happens with lenses. On this one, I'm going to use my fresh air color of four. Okay, and I've just, I know my colors as I, as I work through here. If you have these presets, you'll get to know those as well. Now she's backlit, so I'm going to want an extra little dose of crispness here that just kind of brings out some of that contrast, that, that crisp feel that you want when you want a fresh, light, uh, lighter toned image. Now, as we look at this image, is, um, I want just a touch more contrast. So I'm going to increase that, maybe not quite that much, and then I'm just going to just bring down the brightness just a bit, okay? So there is the image right there. That is about how I would process this image. Now let me make a virtual copy. So I'm going to duplicate that image, and I'm going to edit it to get rid of, let me bring it back up, to get rid of that red clipping, okay? So how you do that is you bring down, when it's red, you bring down the brightness. And so if I start to just come over here to my highlights and then my whites, if I start to bring those down, so you'll see how that clipping goes away. And what that means is I now have detail back in those bright areas. But is that a good thing? Is that always a necessary thing? Let me go back to the other image. Let me get rid of the overlay on that one. So this is the original and then this is the fixed image, the original and then the fix. Now as I look at this image, I am actually preferring the version of the image that has no detail in those white areas. This is the one. And the reason is, is because this image tends to be a little bit more flat. Her skin tones of her face tend to, tend to start to lose a little bit of that, um, um, I don't know, the, the, the highlights to them. It tends to make the, the skin look a little more flat. So I actually prefer it in this image. You, you might prefer this image, and that's okay too. But, um, you know, that is purely something you as a photographer can choose. Now let me move to this image, and let me turn it back on here. And so you'll notice that I've got um, this brightness in the tulips in that lighter area there. Now on this image, if I, if I go ahead and create a virtual copy of it, Okay, I'm going to turn off clipping, and then if I just start to drag these sliders down, okay, you'll see that I have detail come back into the tulips in this area. If we go back to this image, you'll see that I've, I've, I've got no detail in the tops of the tulips, and as I come back to this image, I've got detail. So in this image, obviously, you will want to remove clipping because you're losing detail in an important part of the image. Now, something to notice, let's take a quick look at the histogram in the top right-hand corner of the uh, Lightroom interface. The histogram panel, it shows us the luminance mountains, and the left side represents the darker tones, the right side represents the lighter tones, and the middle represents the midtones. So as you look at the histogram on this image, you can see that that mountain, that luminance mountain hits the right side of the histogram. And that tells you that it's cutting off that mountain. And whatever is being cut off is those pure white areas. So this area of the tulips 
is being cut off, and that's what gives us clipping. If you move to this newly edited version, you'll notice how my histogram, the luminance mountains on the right side, they actually come down and touch the ground before they touch that left side, or, or actually they don't even touch that, excuse me, that right side. And so what you'll notice between the two histograms is that the mountain, the luminance mountain is cut off, and I have pure white or too bright of areas. And then on this image, the luminance mountain um, touches the ground before or, or doesn't even touch the right hand side, which gives me, which tells me there is no white clipping, that there is, there is detail throughout the entire image. And so you can look at a histogram and actually tell, be able to tell where, um, whether you have clipping or not. You don't need the clipping overlay. Let's move to this next image and let me bring up the clipping overlay. You'll see that I have um, some highlights that are being clipped out, but let's let me drop the black slider, and you'll notice how I have this blue start to come into the image. That is the clipping overlay showing me what dark areas are being cropped, uh, are being excuse me, where I have no detail in the dark areas. Now look again at the histogram. You'll notice that I have the luminance mountains touching both the left side and the right side. The left side represents the dark tones, the right side represents the light tones. And so if I double click my blacks to bring it back to where it was, it removes um, the black clipping. So now there's detail in all of my dark tones, but my light tone still has clipping. So let me fix this image. Let me edit it how I would edit it. Okay, I start with my start to get my image close. I turn my lens correction on, so that gets rid of that uh, distortion and uh, that slight vignetting. On this one, I'm gonna go with um, my Fresh Air Color 6 right here. Again, they're backlit, so I want a lot of crispness in this one. Let me try one higher. Um, I'm gonna stick, stick with crispness 3 here. Okay, so I want to warm this image up just a bit, just to add a touch of warmth right about there. And let me get rid of the clipping. Okay, so this is the image. Now I'm going to create a virtual copy or duplicate this image. And let me bring back my detail in the sky. And I'll do that through my highlights and through my whites sliders. Okay, so I may just add just a touch more contrast, but let's compare the two images. So this is the one where I've removed the majority of the clipping, and then this is the image where I've kept the clipping. Now this image, as I look at the two, I might say this image is a little too bright. So I'm going to just decrease the exposure just a bit, maybe about right there. But which image do you prefer of these two images? This image or this image? And I far prefer this image, the image where I've removed the clipping. Now, I haven't removed it completely. If I bring back the clipping overlay, you'll see that I have a touch up here that is still being clipped. And that's being represented over here in the histogram by that right side of the histogram um, touching the sidewall. But it's so minimal that, that I'm okay with it. It doesn't matter. So on this image, I would care. Let's move to this image right here. Okay, let me turn on the clipping overlay. You can see I have some clipping in the leaves right here. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly edit it how I would normally edit this image. Let's go about right like that. And then on the crispness, I'm going to just do just a little bit, not a ton. So let's go right there, and I'm going to just darken it up with the brightness just a bit. Okay, so let's look at that image. So let me get rid of the overlay. Okay, so that image looks pretty good right there, even with the brightness on the leaves. Let me duplicate it really quick, just so we have the start and the finish. And let me bring the overlay back up, and I am going to try to drop my whites and my, um, my highlights. And you'll see that it gets rid of that clipping. So which of these two images do we like? Now... On this image, I think I'm actually liking a little bit of mixture of both. I prefer the leaves in this image, but I prefer the light on her face in this image. So how can I get a mixture of both? Okay, so let me go back to this first image. And what I would recommend you do, if you want to keep that kind of that, the lighter texture and shadow, highlight and shadow in skin, work with the highlights as opposed to the whites, okay? So if I'm with the highlights, if I drop my highlights, you'll notice my leaves start to come back. 
and then I'm going to just bring my whites down, but I'm not going to be as strong as I was before because as I crush the whites, it will start to flatten out her skin right there. So let me compare those two now. So that one compared to that one. Okay, now again, this is the, this is the one that I originally flattened everything out. The skin looks just a little too flat to me. So this image right here, I far prefer. So, and it still has a little bit of clipping to it. But as you look at the image, um, the, the brightness in those leaves um, actually, in my eyes, kind of enhances the image when I tone it down just a little bit. Now, let's go to this last image that I have here, and this is an engagement of a couple. Um, I've got my clipping on. So currently, well, let me tell you this. You'll notice that most of these images I shot underexposed. Like if I go to this image and I hit reset, this is how the image looked in the camera, okay? With modern day DSLR cameras, you want to underexpose or in other words, expose for your highlights. And the reason for that is because it is so much easier to bring back detail in the dark areas than it is to bring back the detail in the bright areas. In fact, it's almost impossible to bring back the details in the bright areas um, in digital photography. And so on my images, I tend to underexpose just a little bit. And you'll notice on this image that I have detail in this back area. And that's how I want to shoot this image because it allows me to bring back the brightness that's in their skin and in their faces. So let me edit this really quick. I hit my start to get close. I'm going to lens correct to get my vignette right. I'm going to go to an 8 on this one just to get really into the green tones. I want some heavy crispness because they're backlit. Let me try the 4 even. Nope, I'm going to go with 3. I prefer 3. Okay, so looking at this image, let me turn off the clipping. That image looks pretty good. I like that image. Now, I'm going to duplicate it really quick because I'm feeling like that back area is just a little too bright. And if you remember on the original image, I had detail back there. So I know I can pull it back. Um, and so I want to do that on this image. So again, I'm going to start with my highlights first because my, my whites really hammer skin tone. So I want to be careful with my white slider. I'm going to pull that one back until I feel like it's good. All right. Now I want to, I want to brighten it up just a little bit. I feel like their faces could use just a little bit of brightness there. Okay, so let's compare the two. So that one or that one. That one or that one. You may prefer this one, and that's totally fine. It really is subjective. But this is the one I prefer where I don't have kind of that really harsh brightness in the back where it's just this lightness that sets the, the, the couple apart from the background, but yet still has a kind of a soft, subtle detail to it that gives my image richness. So there you go. That is clipping in Lightroom. That helps you to understand um, how to turn it on and off, the J key. That also helps you to understand how to read the histogram and then how to pull back so that you can... Um, you can um, get rid of the, those really bright areas if you have that detail in your file. Now, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you subscribe so you're notified when I release more uh, videos that can help you to learn both Lightroom uh, and photography. So thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.